of a disappointing result here in Dorking sum up this afternoon they started better than us come out on the front foot I did say that to the team at the moment I'm saying stuff and it seems to be going in one ear and out the other so yeah they come out on the front foot very good good side really free flowing we score a goal against runner play and then you think well go on then protect the lead and we go and concede almost straight away which is really poor it's, if you can't if you can't come away from home and protect the lead it's, um, it's really poor game management from the players and obviously you go 2-1 down and then I change the shape to a 4-3-3 and actually then we have a good moment in the team we look a bit more solid and in the second half we have a we have a 20 minute spell where we're alright we're in the game and we're, right, we're not creating loads of stuff but there's bits and bobs flying around and some opportunities but the third goal oh. I mean listen I've, I've told the individual but I don't particularly want to say it on here if, if you defend or you or you refuse to defend at all like that third goal you, you've got no chance in the game you've got no chance that that is such a basic ball that's played down the side we're appealing for offside facing the wrong way cuts inside really passive don't want to engage him free goal and after that it's they've thrown it in they just throw it in and I told him there I've taken all the emotion out of it I said look you can see threes and fours <laughs> unfortunately you become suddenly you are a bad side and um, I've told a few home truths in there as I said take all the motion out a bit you're losing to Dorking Dartford Maidstone and you're winning against Cleveland no disrespect and you're winning against Froome that's not good enough that was the thing which frustrated you most that, that third goal which completely yeah. killed off the game really 78 minutes yeah. two, two one down you got a chance of getting back into it and then it, it did feel fourth goal as well particularly maybe just a little bit too easy for them Way too easy, not a little bit, Mark. Way too easy, you're right. The gap was massive over on the right-hand side of our defence. Ball's dropped in midfield first. We haven't won a battle there. And after that, it's, they've got so much room to go and score. It's like a, it's like, not even like a training exercise. It's almost like an unopposed session in the end. Go and score a goal. I'm seeing Joe Reigns up against their wing-backs here, trying to defend in 1v1s. No one pops out to give him a hand in a 2v1. Go on, Joe, you do it, you do it. It's all very, very basic stuff. Like you said, I, I'm not daft, I do know for... I do know for 20 minutes we were in that game at 2-1 and it was how that next moment in the game was going to happen were we going to get the goal were they going to get the goal or was the game going to stay tight to the very last minute I said you might have to dig out a draw at half time I said it you might have to wait till the 96th minute and go and score a goal and then take a point away from Dorking which isn't a bad thing but again the players have shot themselves in the foot we can't we can't keep giving the messages to them and them not doing it in the game it's it's not, it's not tactical stuff. This is just wanting desire to come and defend. People have paid a lot of money on the coach to come down and watch it. My dad's one of them. Pay a lot of money. It's 20 or quid or whatever to come down and then pay to get into a stadium. And then they serve up that. OK, like I said, it's 2-1, all right. But the game lasts longer than that. The game lasts longer than 75 minutes. The game lasts 96 minutes. If you can't defend for 96 minutes, then forget it. There's no, what's the point? You had a key defender missing in yeah, Callum Wood. Well, yeah, it shouldn't make that much you're of a relying, difference. Mark, you're relying on an 18-year-old kid to say, we take an 18-year-old kid out of our team and it makes us weaker. Well, I know he's a very good player. It's no disrespect to Callum. We do miss him because we miss the balance. But you've got a good enough team out there to go and get... Do better. Do better at 2-1 than what they did. Do better at 1-0 to go and protect the game and say, right, they're not going to score. You look at the first goal, Briggs has run from, in his own half past three players I say, they'll be embarrassed when they watch it past three players puts the ball in the box he gets across Jack goal the second one is a free cross from, the le- from our right back area Briggs is stood in the middle of the 18 yard box unopposed unopposed goes and heads the ball do not even have to rise heads the ball on the floor back across uh, Murphy easy goal unopposed the third goal goes down this side let him come inside let him go and score no problem Pathetic, absolutely pathetic. It's nonsense defending. It's it's not a team that reflects how we want to be. They need a reality check. I don't want to be a team that goes and beats teams from lower levels. We got to compete in this league. At the moment, we're not competing. If you're losing games two one, you're losing games one nil. At the moment, we're losing threes and fours. Unacceptable. I've never had that in my tenure. We got to try and do something about it. A personnel need to change. I don't know if I can do it. Certainly before the FA Cup because people will be cup tied but they've got to go they've got to go and do it the players will Jim said I spend all day I spend all day looking at videos thinking about sessions thinking about how we can be put all the work into it 
they haven't turned up today and put a full work into this they've worked for 75 minutes and then that's it the reaction next week after we lost to Maidstone we didn't play as poorly against Maidstone as we did this afternoon of course but they showed a strong reaction against Froome and you're just going to have to get those messages across I suppose in training next week and the players will need to take it on board to show it against a, a tough opponent in Banbury well if you defend like that against anyone you're going to come and you couldn't come unstuck unfortunately I, I can't even think about Banbury at the moment I'm, I'm disgusted with that defensive display there it's, like I say it wasn't for 90 minutes, 96 minutes. It was for a, it was for the first two goals, which was in the game, and then it's from that 75 minutes onwards, where I thought this is unrecognisable. Yeah, it's it's unacceptable. I can't, I won't, I won't tolerate it. Like I said, I've not shouted at them. I've told some untruths. I've looked some of them in the eye. They're just shaking their heads and agreeing with me. Well, if they're agreeing with me, there's one, there's one, there's one outcome in there. There's one outcome. So, I wouldn't mind one standing up and saying, Do you know what, you're wrong, and showing a bit of spirit, and a bit of fight that they should have shown in the last 15, 20 minutes on the field, which they didn't show. I'm not in a good place about that at all. That's, that's, that's not Bath City and that's not what we've been about for four years. And they'll have to address it. They'll have to get it right. We'll do everything again, like you say. We'll do everything we can, prepare them properly. Go and watch uh, Banbury Tuesday night. But if I'm Banbury, I'm looking at us and going, do you know what, there's goals here. There's goals. And that's the reality, the harsh reality they'll have to face our players because they'll get it put on them. They're, they're, quite, they're quite aggressive in their attacking style. If I was an opposition team, I'd say, look, come on, let's go and, let's go and get them because they're leaking goals at the moment and that's, I've never felt like that. Yeah, a lot, lot of soul-searching now. Hopefully the players don't have a good weekend. I'm not going to have a good weekend, but, but we need to sort it.